While we've discussed inventory in other lectures, the topic begs for frequent review. One of the most distinctive effects of overproduction is the buildup of excess inventory waste. Inventory waste is any unnecessary storage of materials, products, or information. Another way to think of it is the buildup of materials or information at any stage of a process or value stream. This can include raw materials, work in progress, or finished goods, or information. Buildup of inventory is sometimes a common practice in organizations as inventory can help hide problems like defects, long setup and changeover times, machine and information downtime, late deliveries from your supply chain, and unbalanced production or schedules. Regardless of what inventory covers up, inventory that is not associated with demand is waste, and hiding it only results in magnified forms of waste or more problems. For example, no company has unlimited storage, space, or people. As companies build inventory, they must have space to store the inventory, time to find the inventory, materials to protect it, and people to manage it. None of these activities are value-adding. Another common issue that pops up is the more inventory you have, the more possibilities there are for damage. Damage can occur during storage of inventory, during the production process, and during handling of your inventory. Transportation is another form of waste that follows the creation of excess inventory. Most forms of inventory will need to be transported in some way at some time. Transportation is magnified when excess inventory is created. Processes that build in bulk typically require mechanization such as forklifts, carts, and or people to move the inventory. This adds cost to the process and certainly does not create any value during the transportation phase. Finally, making inventory that has absolutely no demand attached to it creates waiting and delays. Every piece of inventory must wait for others to finish before they can begin. The final thing that you need to consider with regards to inventory is that as long as inventory is not sold, the resources used to create the inventory remain tied up. This includes financial resources, time, materials, and energy. So, how do we remove the waste from inventory. While you will never remove every form of waste in any organization, there are ways to drastically reduce it and remove it at some points in the process. Organizations use the just-in-time system to build only the inventory that is needed, when it's needed, in the quantity that is needed. Over the next few modules, we will dig into methods like leveled production, the famed Kanban system, and measurements like tack time. These and a few other surprises will undoubtedly help us reduce this waste of inventory. Now, before we go, please consider this question. What problems or issues does inventory cause in your organization? You can write your answers down, start a discussion with the community, or answer in the upcoming assignment. We'll see you in the next video.